This is the periodic table of magic, made and sold by the Mopop Museum in Seattle. I actually found this specific one at Goodwill for three bucks, and it's cute, but I felt it looks a bit too new for something that's so occult related. So I decided to make a better version that's faux aged to look like something that was dug up by an archaeologist and restored for his museum display. First, I found a nice vintage design frame that would be right for this. Uh, it was 25 by 20 inches, uh, so I had to enlarge it, so first I scanned the original, although you can easily find a high-resolution image of it on Google Images. Unfortunately, my printer can't print that large and only goes up to 11 by 17 inches. I could go to a print shop, but since the idea is to make it look like a relic, my hack around this was to just print the thing in pieces and make it look like it decayed into them. I used an online OCR website to convert the text pieces to raw text, and then used the Athia Vintage font, uh, which is available online, uh, and it looks like old-style handwriting. I laid out all the pieces in Microsoft Visio to figure out exactly how to split it up and print it in four pieces, and that's how it looks like. I took the printed pieces and then I tore up the edges of the paper by hand to simulate the decay that's common with old paper. It's important to really go kind of left and right randomly when tearing because that sort of damage wouldn't normally be very uniform. I also tore some holes in the middle of the paper just for effect. Next, I use the tea method to further age the paper. To do this, you take some strong tea and soak the paper in it for a few minutes. Then I set my oven to low. As you can see, mine goes as low as 170 degrees. And then I bake the paper for about 10 minutes. It's a good idea when placing the paper in the oven to deform it a little bit, kind of move it around just to simulate the aging. Next, I used a simple lighter to cause further damage. I can do some stuff around the edges, burning like that, and also in the middle. Now it's only a simple matter of laying the pieces in the frame, and I also used the black poster board as background, which helps make the edges stand out. And voila, that's it.